Hi, I'm Aubrey Shepard. Well, it's been raining today. This is the 23rd of May, 2011, another stormy day, and there's been flooding. And let's see what we got from the weekend activities there. Oh, that was Sunday evening, the 22nd. And these people are saying, hey, UA, go another way. They're talking about the road that the university's threatened to build right up through that strip you're seeing next to Old Main. That's about a quarter mile up to front of Old Main when you get up past there uh, where they're planning to go. So this is the Old Main, Old Main collection of the Campus Arboretum. See a couple of ladies hugging a tree out there? Well, they're just trying to show you how old and beautiful these trees on this campus are and how even if they do the most careful job they can to put that road through there, it's going to cut or crush the roots of these huge old trees. So, Fran, Alexander, there's been working with the others for years on this kind of thing. Okay, there's water running down Hill Avenue. That's muddy runoff from the National Cemetery. It goes into a storm drain right there at uh, Hill and 11th and then into the town branch. And there's where some of it's coming off the new portion of the National Cemetery that's not fully vegetated. And you can see the tracks in there where they've been driving with their machines. And that's a lot that's being cleared for the National Cemetery. It's been bought by the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation and to be donated to the National Cemetery, and it was sending mud down. This mud's coming off the to top of Rocher Hill. And, uh, well, I think I, I went by there two or three times, and you can see here, see how much more flow there is at this point? And that's actually a level spot there, but it's... <laughs> It's supposed to be a continuous flow, but it's sinking in right up there and uh, going under that uh, concrete base thing. So we don't know where that water's ending up exactly. But anyway, that's where the flow goes into a pipe at Hill Place, and it's divided and goes part of it to World Peace Wetland Prairie, which doesn't need any mud on it like that, and part of it in directly into the town branch. Okay, that's the uh, railroad embankment uh, on part of Hill Place. You can see how it's been eroding and eroding. And of course, those people were warned, don't clear the trees off that area, but they did, the developers, and they've never been able to get anything to hold on that soil. There's where water pours directly out of the detention pond and off of uh, Hill Place and into the town branch. And it's, all, it's eventually gonna wash that big old tree out, but maybe it'll stay there and keep slowing down the water a little. Another shot of that muddy runoff from from the hill place, that's in the parking lot. See the curb under there? It's totally covered up. And one apartment there is probably, uh, was, looked like it was about to get the muddy run off inside again. And that's at uh, 11th Street and uh, Town Branch Crossing. And uh, you can see the back of the Smith Yard first there and now the back of Mr. Hoodenpile's yard, which obviously is riparian zone, um, floodplain, but it used to flood very rarely. Now you can see there's a police car over there. They're looking and uh, hoping that nobody drives through there. Now, if the water had been much higher several times during the day, it would go down. People would start driving across it again. This is, you see Pinnacle Food Plant in the background there? Uh, that's across the detention pond of the uh, Hill Place Apartments. And that detention pond was actually slowing the water down today. But fact is that uh, it would take more, much bigger space of rain garden and detention pond to actually stop this flow. Till next time, it's Arbor Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.